Hey boys and girls, today we are going to be making a beautiful spring painting. So there's gonna be a few steps to this, um, but for the first part, what we're gonna do is start by making a sun, and I want you to put it a little bit to the left of your paper. You're gonna be holding your paper landscape so that it's wider side to side than it is up and down, and over towards the left side, a little above the middle, you're gonna put a yellow circle, okay? So I'm just gonna paint a yellow circle. Just like that. So I want it a little bigger than a quarter. Um, maybe about the size of these cups here, the top of it, just about that size. And once we're done with that, um, you're gonna start by adding some white on the outside here. So I will clean off your paintbrush and take some white and even though your paper is white this is just going to allow for some of the blue to mix that we put on here next what you're going to do is you're going to layer it putting a layer of white around the yellow here so i'm making a pretty big circle with this white it's probably going to be pretty tough for you to see in the video but i'm making a big circle of white like i'm making an egg Think about a fried egg, that's exactly what you're doing. Just like that, okay? And once you're done with that, this time you don't need to clean off your paintbrush. You're gonna dip it a little bit in the blue and you're gonna start from the outside here where that white is and you're gonna go around and you're gonna go around and around and around until you get to where that yellow circle is and then you're gonna stop and you're gonna go back out. Okay, so I'm just going around and around and around and around. And see how that's kind of gone from like that yellow color to a really light blue to a little bit darker to a little darker to a little darker. And that's basically what we want to do is now we're going to expand out, um, adding in more and more blue as we go out. So I'm going to dip it again in the blue and on the outside here, I'm going to paint in almost my entire paper with the rest of this blue, just going on the outside. So I'm going in a circular motion. I'm not painting in any other direction. I'm always going in a circle. And I'm being careful to make sure that I cover up any of the paper that the paint may not cover up. I'm gonna go back to make sure that it's all covered. And when you get to this part where you're gonna go off of your paper, you're still going to follow the same curve. So over here, when I'm adding my blue, I'm still gonna add it in a curved line. And I'm gonna fill up my entire paper, which means I'm going to be painting off of my paper to make sure it gets all filled in. Now I don't need to paint my entire sheet of paper. So what I'm gonna do is just paint a line of where I need to paint. So a little bit up from the bottom of your paper, maybe about the length of your finger or so, you're gonna paint a line that goes across. And then you're gonna kind of go around that sun there, following that same shape. And we're gonna go up actually to the corner here. So I'm doing a big curve from about a finger length up and then all the way to the top corner of my paper. And I'm gonna fill all of this in with blue. I really, really wanna make sure that I'm still going in the same direction. I'm still painting circular motions, okay? So I'm still going in that same shape all the time. That's really going to make it look more artistic um, and really more beautiful and more realistic. So please be careful to do that. Don't paint side to side. The way that you put the paint on the paper is just as important as what you are painting. So I'm following that curved shape just like that. And I'm gonna fill in all of this up here. Now, on the bottom of this section here, we're gonna paint it green. You don't actually need to wash off your paintbrush here, okay? Um, and for this part, I want you to go up and down with it. But you wanna cover up a little bit of that blue. Just make sure that you don't have any white paper by the time you're done. I shouldn't see a single part of the paper showing. So I'm going up and down and up and down and up and down, just like that. And you're gonna fill up all of this white space with green. 
Now, as you put longer strokes, it's going to get more and more difficult. So you might just end up doing like one stroke at a time because you just want to keep this, like I said, all going up and down in one stroke. Okay, so just like that. And I'm covering up that white space where the blue and the green meet and all the edges of my paper. Okay, so now we're gonna add some more detail to our grass. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna get some of the yellow paint and we're gonna, again, going up and down like we did with the green. But we're gonna stay along that blue edge here. So I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom on this lower part here. But as I start to get closer and closer to where it's it's longer grass, I'm gonna stay just at like the top. Okay, so I'm just adding the yellow. I'm going up and down, up and down. Just like that. And then we're gonna add in some blue down here to kind of darken it. So clean your paintbrush. And you're gonna add a little blue just in the corner here Again, I'm going up and down, up and down. And I only did one little dip of blue, because so I only want a tiny bit here just to make it look like there's a shadow over here. Okay, so now we're ready to add our flowers. Now, in order to do our flowers, we're gonna be using this half inch sponge, round sponge, and then also this three quarter inch round sponge. And you can choose whatever colors you wanna add in. I think I'm gonna do some yellow and some pink and probably some purple for mine. But again, it's up to you. You can choose whatever colors you wanna use. So now you are going to be using um, actually the, the sponge part and also the end to add in your flowers. So I'm just gonna dip it in the paint. You wanna make sure to wipe off any excess color on the side and along the top, of these grass lines, you're just going to sponge on a circle. And you can place them wherever you want, whatever colors you want to use. This is your paper, it's up to you. Okay, I think I actually might even do some uh, white. So I'm going to use the smaller part here and dip it in there, and then I can add in some smaller little white flowers. And I can really add it in wherever I want along the grass. Um, you just want to make sure that you do have the tops filled in and probably leave this space over here where there's some blue. Leave that empty. Okay. When you're done, and let's say I want to make the same size here, um, but I don't want it to be yellow, you're going to use your um, paper towel and just kind of dab it off to remove the excess paint. So I'm just kind of squeezing it. And once the excess paint is removed, then I can pick my next color here. So again, I always wipe it off the side before I add it. So make sure that you're alternating um, sizes and colors. So now I'm gonna use the back of this bigger one and I'm gonna add in some purple. You want ones of all different sizes and all different colors. And you can do the same color in different sizes too. If you wanna do that, that's fine. Um, you just want to make sure that you're really creating some variation here. Once you're done with your sponges, you're now going to move on to using the end of your paintbrush just to really fill it up with all the flowers. So I'm going to dip the end in and I'm just going to place random dots staying along the top line here. And I'm probably adding a lot of pink, but if you don't like pink, you don't have to add it. You can choose whatever colors you wanna add here. Um, completely up to you. But you just wanna make sure that you're really filling it up so that you have flowers all along this top line here. All right, so just make sure that you've filled up all of this space with tons and tons of colors and flowers to really make it look like a beautiful and bright springtime. I hope you guys have fun with this. Can't wait to see them.